Michelle, uh, before I get into God's word, I want to thank all of y'all. Happy New Year and Holy Ghost New Year in the year 2024. God's going to bless you with more and God will restore here in the year of 2024. If you have the Holy Ghost, you will soar. Ah, come on. So tell someone you will soar. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew your strength. He shall mount up on wings like an eagle. He shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and you shall not faint. Oh, hallelujah. Before I go into God's word, we want to thank Brother Zelda Laka. God bless you. Z-A-L-D-E-L-I-A-C-C-A-L. -E -A -A my Muslim brother. God bless you. You sent to my cash app. That was so nice of you. And for your encouraging word to keep on preaching the truth. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, He shall know the truth. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And the truth shall make us free. Thank you, my good brother. And God bless you and your family. To Brother Sharon Haskin. God bless you. Thank you for sending to our cash app. May God continue to increase you and continue to bless you. Hallelujah. You're too blessed to be stressed and you were too anointed to be disappointed. Come on, tell yourself I'm too blessed to be stressed. All of you are in YouTube land. Spell the word bless. It's spelled B-L-E-S-S. -S. Take the be all blessed. What you got? Less. That must mean it must be less flesh if you want to get blessed. Honey, I want more God. Hallelujah. I say I want more Holy Ghost. I don't have to take no drug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. So I want to thank God for Sister Sharon Haskin for sitting to the cash app. May God continue to bless you and your family here on YouTube. Ah, uh, also Sister Kimberly Serena Kirkshaw. Ah, uh, forgive me for pronouncing your name wrong. Got a wonderful last name. Just have a hard time pronouncing it. But God knows your name. And you have a new name written out in glory. Sister Kimberly. Thank you for sending to the Cash App. May God bless you. Uh, being so faithful, my Cash App is Flame of Fire 8. And Pastor Warren Adams, W-A-R-R-E-N, um, A-D-A-M-S. Uh, me and my wife, thank you from the bottom of my heart. May God continue to bless you real good. Also, I go for me. I go for me is also, I go for me is holy and heavenly Flame of Fire. Miracle Church Ministry Street Pastor Preacher Warren and Missionary Lady Priscilla Adams. Thank God. All right, let's get into God's Word. Man shall not live by what? Bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Uh, the Lord had me watching something on yesterday. Uh, most of the time, I don't like watching television too much anyway. But we know the devil used television as a tool. Television is a tool the devil used because television is connected with Hollywood. And Hollywood needs to become Hollywood. Oh, come on, tell somebody. Hollywood needs to become Hollywood. In other words, you need the Holy Ghost. Because when you make a pact with the devil... When that contract is up, the devil come to collect. A lot of Hollywood stars don't care because your mind is on fame and fortune. Come on. When Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter 8 verse 36, what profits a man if he will gain the whole world and yet lose his soul? So the Lord had me watching certain programs. And there was a program that's getting ready to come on this year. You know, they got new series coming out demonic series satanic programs that don't glorify God whatsoever satanic because the devil now is releasing his demons all around America the devil knows just what he's doing and they had this program coming out it's called raising spirits we talk about how to contact dead people and how to contact deceased loved ones Sound very demonic to me. The devil know what he doing because the devil know his time is almost up. The devil know the rapture is going to take place. He not so much worrying about, the devil not so much worrying about those who he already got. 
He already got this soul going to hell. And the, and the Bible says that the God of this world has already blinded their minds. They don't want the truth because the cares of this life, the riches of the world has blinded them because they're greedy for money. That's what the Bible declares in 1 Timothy chapter number 6. That the love of money is the root of all evil. It didn't say money is evil. It said the love of money is the root of all evil. God understands that we got to have money. We got to work to pay the rent and the bills. But don't worship it. Now, even this evil, even on the money. We got the all pyramid, the all C and I. Got the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill. Won't you hear me very closely? You got the pyramid. Underneath the pyramid is called Nudos Autos Seclera. What that means? It means New World Order. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. The mark of the beast is already in the microchips. Hear me closely. The Freemasons are connected with the Illuminati. The Freemasons are connected with a demon by the name of Balfamet. I talked to you about this many times. So it's all connected with witchcraft. It's all in the government. The Obelix, which is in Washington, D.C., that's all connected with the Freemasons. It's all connected with devil worship. It's all connected with the Antichrist. The Vatican, that's in the, Cap that's in the Roman Catholic Church. That's not for Jesus Christ. That's for the Antichrist. Who is the Antichrist? The Antichrist is a deceiver who would be the man of sin, Satan, wrapped up in human form and committed to deceive the nation. The Bible talks about the Antichrist and the book of Revelations. So now, what you're saying, preacher, why? They have all these demonic programs on TV. The devil is putting his stuff all on TV because the devil works through television. Why do you think children have became so violent and so demonic? Come on, somebody. You're watching all this rap music, all playing with the Xbox, playing with Grand Theft Auto. All that stuff teaches the youth how to kill. When the Bible said, thou shalt not kill. That's what the Bible says. The devil come to steal, kill. I feel the Holy Ghost don't have to take no drug overdose. And destroy. But thank God for Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I come that you might have life. Oh, and that you might have it more abundantly. But keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Oh, am I higher? Because the devil is busy. Come on, tell someone. Keep your eyes on the prize. Come on. You got to. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Because you ain't careful. He'll trick you. Now, on the TV show, they had something called Raising the Dead. It's talking about mediums and sorcerers. And they had this woman on TV who's getting ready to come have a series on Channel 7. Where she goes to the graveyard, sound demonic to me. She goes to the graveyard and she speaks to the dead. That's demonic, y'all. She's called a medium. And the Bible speaks against mediums. Come on, come on. They want to make contact with dead people and all this stuff. And not to try to make you feel bad because I know many of you lost your loved ones. I know many of your loved ones had deceased. One day we all gonna go. If the rapture don't take place, why are we still here? Because the Bible declares in Hebrews chapter number nine, verse 27, that a man is appointed. It's appointed for man who wants to die, but the end is judgment. The body will one day go back to the dust. From the dust it came, and the dust it will return. The spirit is going somewhere. Heaven or hell. A lot of folk don't believe there's a hell, but there's a hell. Well, I know we got hell here on earth, but hell here on earth is heaven compared to hell down there. The Bible talks about hell in the, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 5, verse 14. The Bible said hell has enlarged herself without measure. Honey, I don't want to go there. I have enough hell here on earth. And there's a place, believe it or not, that's even worse. That's even worse than hell. It's called the lake of fire. 
Read the book of Revelation, chapter number 20, verse 14. John said, and I saw death and hell cast in the lake of fire. So I don't want to try to hurt your feelings. But I must tell you the truth, saints. Because the Bible says, you shall know the truth, I know the truth, shall I make you free. Only if you receive the truth, then it will make you free. If you don't want it, you ain't going to get free because you don't want to hear the truth. Because the truth doesn't always tickle our ears. Hallelujah. Because I love you, I'm going to tell you the truth, saints. Turn to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse 11. Is it possible for a medium to contact the dead? They got this woman on TV getting ready to come. The series is, the series is called Raising the Dead. Not Raising the Dead, Raising Spirits. Mm -mm, that don't even sound right, it's demonic. Raising Spirits, where she goes to the cemetery and take the families who lost their deceased loved ones and then she puts her hands on the tombstone and she make like she's contacting the deceased and the deceased contacts them and speaks to her and communicates with her and making contact to talk to their loved ones who's already alive and then now the families are crying so, oh, oh thank you madam so and so they okay they're in heaven you don't realize you're being deceived. Tell someone, don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. The devil's busy. I want to help you out. I want to get you in God's word. They had a woman a long time ago called Madam Susie. And I think another woman was called Madam Sylvia. I think that was her name, Mother Sylvia. And she was on the Montel Williams show. I'm going to get this. She was on the Montel Williams show. And she was calling out names, saying she was making contact with the dead. And these people play on people's emotions because you know that we miss our loved ones. One time I thought I saw my father. My father died when I was three years old. I thought that was my father. That was years ago. I thought he was, and to God didn't let me know it wasn't. Check this out. Can is it possible for mediums to contact the dead? Well, let's get to God's word. The Bible said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Check this out. Praying to the praying to the dead. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Woman of God praising God up in the van, up in the Jeep, in the yes, SUV. Receiving the Holy Ghost. Praying to the dead. Is strictly forbidden in the Bible. You hear me? Watch me. Watch this, y'all. It said praying to the dead is strictly forbidden in the Bible. In other words, it's not allowed by God. Read the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse 11, tells us that anyone who consults, who consults with the dead is detestable to the Lord. God hates it. God hates it. Look what the Bible said. God is not the God of the dead. Not trying to put down your loved ones because I lost a lot of my loved ones. But he's the God of the living. We're going to talk about that in just five minutes. Where do the dead go after they die? Where do the dead go after they die? Many already know the answer to that. But Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse 11. Verse 11 tells us that anyone who consults with the dead is detestable to the Lord. In other words, God hates it. God doesn't like it. Check this out. The story of Saul consulting a medium, there are witches who consult dead people. I try to consult dead people. They're dealing with a spirit of divination. Ah, read the book of Acts chapter number 16. Paul dealt with a damsel who had a spirit of divination. D-I-V-I-N-T-I-O-N Divination What is divination? It is a spirit that deals with function tellers Psychics Hear me closely y'all Watch this We all know that The story of Saul Of King Saul Consulting a medium To bring up the spirit Of the dead Samuel Prophet Samuel was the one God bless you Man of God Happy New Year Hallelujah 
God bless that young man. We know God will use the prophet Samuel to anoint David in the house of Jesse. Y'all know who David was. David was the one who God used to slay Goliath. David was a warrior. The name David means beloved one. Praise God. But we know that God has departed from Saul because Saul was rebellious against God. And Prophet Samuel said that rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. So the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and went to David. Y'all know the story. But anyway, to make a long story short, hear me closely. Watch this. So I said, preach Holy Ghost. He went to consult a medium to bring up the dead spirit of the prophet Samuel. Mm, it's deep. It's deep. What it was, it was a familiar spirit. Tell someone, watch these familiar spirits. Come on. Read the book of Leviticus chapter number 20, verse number 27. Hallelujah. It talks about familiar spirits. Read the book of Leviticus chapter 19. Ah, verse 31. God told Israel to regard not them who have familiar spirits and neither seek after the wizards. Wizards are male witches, for I am the Lord your God. Come on, we're going to get deep into this thing. We're going to find out it's the stuff of God. So now, in 1 Samuel chapter number 28, King Saul sent for use of a medium is recorded. And 1 Samuel chapter number 28, he went to the witch of Endor so she can sum it up, Samuel's spirit. Because it was going to be a war between the Philistines and Israel. He knew that God has left him, so he was afraid. He wanted to know if they was going to win this war. He wanted to know, was God going to win this war for Israel through him? So he went to a witch of Endor to contact the deceased prophet because he already had died at the time. The prophet Samuel was dead and King Saul was frustrated that God had ceased telling him what to do through prophets our dreams. So the king in direct violation of God's law and his previous command told his men to find a medium who could communicate with Samuel. First Samuel chapter 28, verse number three. This medium conjured up Samuel and Saul communicated with the dead prophet. Now how was this? Now watch this. If this thing is demonic spirits, to how she was able to contact Samuel? Good question. Theologians, theologians discuss whether this was conjured up whether this conjuring was a physical reappearance of Samuel are mm -hmm. merely an image of him. It's deep. Watch this. There is also some question whether or not the medium actually meant to conjure up Samuel. Did she really mean to con conjure up Samuel? I don't believe she did. Because the medium always dealt with the demon of divination. She tricked people, hear this, to make people think that that was their deceased loved one, and it was not. It was a demon who came in the form of their deceased loved one. It was a different nation spirit. That's deep. But in this case, God allowed the prophet Samuel to come from Hayes in the spirit world. He was already in paradise. God allowed this. Because God got all power. He got power over mediums. God got power over divination and witches. God got the last say. So God allowed the prophet Samuel's spirit to appear. And look now, that's how I know. Perhaps it was a fraud who did not expect to actually see a spirit. Or perhaps she was expecting to communicate with her familiar spirit and not with Samuel directly. Either way. God seems to have allowed Samuel's conjuring in order to drive home 
his point to Samuel. The prophet's message to Saul was one of doom. Verses 17 to 19. And he died the next day. First Chronicles chapter 10, verse 13 to verse 14. It was important. It was an important part of why he was dethroned and his dynasty cut short. Now, what are you saying, preacher Warren? God allowed this. He allowed it. And only in this case, because the witch of Endor got scared when she saw the prophet Samuel. Why would she get afraid? She got afraid because it was God's manservant that God allowed to come in the spirit to tell Samuel that he would die. It was God's doing. Only in that case, it was God's doing. Now check this out. Why would the witch of Endor become afraid? Because she knew it was not her own spirit of divination. She was always tricking people by using demons of divination to come in the form of the deceased loved one and make families think it was a deceased loved one, but it never was. It was a trick. I fought some telling spirit. You understand? So now, when these so-called mediums call themselves try to contact dead people, it's all demonic. It's satanic. It's deception. So don't watch that show. If you watch it, let the Lord show you the tricks of the enemy. Oh, come on. The devil is the deceiver. God doesn't deal with the dead. Those who passed on, if they died in Jesus, they in paradise. If they didn't die in Jesus, they in hell. I hate to say it that way. I got to warn you, saints of God. Do not contact the spirits of the dead. Ah, uh, contact Jesus. This is not to hurt your feelings. I got to warn you, saints. I got to warn you. Ah, uh, because warning comes before destruction. I got to warn you. Now look what the Bible declares. The Bible said to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. There's those who believe that when a person dies, that their spirit do not go into paradise or hell. A lot don't believe that. Now let's get into God's word. Praise God. Get into this scripture. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to go to the book of Ecclesiastes. The question is, when a person die, did his spirit go to heaven or hell? The dead know it's nothing, the Bible says. So this out. Ecclesiastes chapter number 5, no, chapter number 9, verse 5. So this out. Turn with me to it. I'm almost done. They got these reality shows on. They had this other reality show called Golden Bachelors. But they had these half-naked women on the show. Uh-oh, preach on the ghost. And they had these men kissing all women, trying to find love in their life. And you got to be careful with these reality shows, y'all. A lot of stuff is lustful. The devil even got some reality shows about non-transvestites and drag queens and all this stuff. We're living in the last days. Jesus may come back this year. You got to be careful what you're watching. I got to warn you, saints. God ain't got no drag queens in his kingdom. Come on, that's hate speech. There ain't no hate speech. This is love speech. This is truth speech. God should a man not supposed to wear anything that's pertaining to a woman. Oh, Lordy. Deuteronomy chapter number 22, verse number 5. Your wife is supposed to be the queen, not your husband. God ain't gonna have no man become an old drag queen. Come on, somebody. Your wife is supposed to be the queen, not your husband. God called men to be men. God called men to be masculine and holy. He said, be holy, for I am holy. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 44 and verse 45. Watch this. Got to watch these reality shows, y'all. They had a golden bachelor's women up there in lingerie. Gone with the male strippers, all this mess, and she get ready to get married to her husband. We don't believe in no open marriages. 
open marriages is of the devil. I ain't sharing my wife with nobody. Hallelujah. Because marriage is about being faithful. We don't believe in no men becoming drag queens. God made men to be men and to be masculine. Be proud of being a man. Hallelujah. God bless you, young people. Happy New Year. These are real men right here. God bless you, young people. God loves y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is raising up young men. They're going to receive the Holy Ghost and don't have to take no drug overdose. They was receiving the word right here, here in God's word, being preached. So I love the truth. God loves them. But watch these reality shows. Man was getting ready to get married. He had their butt naked in the tub. And the woman up there in lingerie. They got all these reality shows on TV. Women got their breasts out and, oh my God, got boobs showing. Why? Why? Hallelujah. Only one should be seeing her boobs is her husband. Got men showing off their, showing off their muscles. All his body out. All his stuff on TV because the devil wants to bring on lust. Even in the church, it's going on. But be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and verse 2. So I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, not to lust, not to lasciviousness, not adultery, not fornication. The Bible said, let every man have his own wife, not another man's wife, not another woman's husband, because marriage is about being faithful. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 2. Marriage is about being faithful. If you're not going to be faithful, don't get married. Get married to Jesus. Can't nobody. Hallelujah. Love you like Jesus. Oh, oh, Lord, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the anointing right now. Let's get to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter number nine. Let's go to verse five. Where do the dead go? Where do their spirit go after they die? Now, the Bible said to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord. Only for those who are saved. Only for those who live a righteous life for Jesus Christ. J-E-S-U-S. -E Jesus, you're the best. You're the God of holiness. You're the God of righteousness. A-B-C. One, two, three. Jesus Christ died for you and me on the cross of Calvary. And you don't need to take no LSD. <laughs> Jesus came to set us free. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Hallelujah. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Hallelujah. Look what it says in Ecclesiastes, chapter number nine, verse five. Someone said, Cheeks, Holy Ghost. Look what it said. For the living know that they shall die. Let's get into God's word. The living already knows. It's important for men once to die, but the end is judgment. Hebrews chapter number nine, verse 27. But the dead know not anything, neither have they anymore a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Mm. Read again. It's to the actions, chapter number nine, verse five. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they anymore a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Sounds scary. If you die in Jesus, you don't got to worry. You're only sleeping. Come on, tell us on YouTube, man. You're, you're only sleeping. Hallelujah. Now watch this. A lot of people believe that when the dead die, they just go into the grave and the casket is closed, and that's it, and they go back to the dust. No, the body go back to the dust. Not you. Here we go. When you die, you don't go back to the dust. It's the house, the human house, that the spirit lives in go back to the dust not you we actually hit this close to y'all we actually never die it's a body that dies not the spirit not the soul it is the body 
So your loved one who is in the coffin, that is really not your loved one for say. That was your loved one's body. That was your loved one's human house that goes back to the dust. But your loved one is somewhere. A lot of people don't believe that. Would say, well, how can you say that, preacher? Back it up. Well, let's go to the verses before verse 5. Go to verse 3. Look what the Bible said. This is, this is an evil among all things that all are done under the sun. That's what the Bible says. That there is one event unto all, yea, also the heart of, I love the word of God. Also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil and madness is in their heart while they live, while they live. And after that, they go to the dead. Let me know all the evil that's going on in the world. That's why I keep my mind on Jesus. God bless y'all this morning. Y'all too blessed to be stressed. In the year 2024, God gonna bless y'all with more. Have a good day. Hallelujah. Receive Jesus, because he's coming again. And we must be born again. Ha! Of the water. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. And of the Spirit. I be coming into the kingdom of God. Now watch this. Verse number three said, This is an evil among all things, that all things are done under the sun. That there is one event unto all, yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil and madness is in their heart while they live and after that they go to the dead so what are you saying preacher warren that when those who die when the body dies their spirit is either in hell i have it look how the rich man died and he went to hell the bible said and he lifted up and in hell he lifted up his eyes and he was in torment in the flames. And Lazarus went to Abraham's bosom. I'm not talking about Lazarus, who Jesus arose from the dead in the book of uh, St. John chapter 11. I'm talking about the Lazarus who was the beggar. Jesus told the parable about the rich man and the beggar. That when the rich man died in hell, he lifted up his eyes and he was in flames. He was in torment. He asked Abraham when Lazarus went into Abraham's bosom, can you send Lazarus to go up? I'd rather to come to me to give me a dip of water. But there was a gulf between paradise and hell. So he couldn't get through. Now watch this. He asked Abraham, God, can he, can he go up to his brethren to tell them about this place? You know the story. Now watch this. The rich man didn't know what was going on on earth because his spirit was already in hell. Hit this now. Hit this. Hit this. He didn't know consciously what was really going on. Why? His spirit was in hell. His body was already dead. Let me close to y'all. So the Bible meant why he was under the sun. In other words, why he was alive. He knew what was going on in the world. He was aware what was going on in the world, why he was alive under the sun. That's what he meant in the book of Estheliastics, chapter number nine, verse three. Why we alive, why we under the sun, we are aware what's going on in the world. Why we alive. But when the body deceased, and the spirit goes back to Hayes, Hell, Tartarus, Sheol, is it a heaven or hell? The person does not know what's going on on earth. They don't know the activities that's going on, on earth. When the person go to paradise, they with Jesus. They're in the place of peace. Today you shall be with me in paradise. Jesus Christ told the thief on the cross, you understand what I'm saying here, y'all? Understand? They don't know about the activities that's going on in the world out here in America. Why? They are in paradise or they are in hell. Or they are in heaven. 
So those who passed on and they were Jesus are those, those who passed on and they are in hell if they die without Jesus and they was wicked. That's why I thank God for the love of Jesus who gave us a chance. He don't want to see nobody go to hell. That's why he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Oh, oh hallelujah. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Because we have enough hell here on earth. I don't want to go no hell down there. I have enough hell on earth. So God got a better place for you. It's called paradise. In my father's house, there are many mansions. Hallelujah. St. John chapter 14. But you must believe in God first. He said, let not your heart be troubled. He said, believe in God. Believe also in me. He's talking to the those who believe in Jesus. In my father's house. Hear this? There are many mansions. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. He got mansions in heaven. He got mansions in glory. He got the holy city. I'm feeling good right now. Don't y'all feel this? The streets of gold. Whoa! Thank you, Jesus. Read the book of Revelations, chapter number 21 and chapter number 22. The streets of gold. In my father's house, there are many mansions. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And when I come again, I will receive you unto myself. The way I am. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you, young man. He praised the Lord. There he may be also. So when the deceased dies, everybody dies. Praise the Lord, my brother. God bless you. In the year 2024, God going to bless you with more. Don't have to take no drug overdose because you already got the Holy Ghost. I see leadership in you. And God going to raise you up. The devil trying to put an X on you, but God put a check on you. I know you've been a black sheep in your family, but you are the one that God going to bless you. Hallelujah. You are somebody special. I don't care what nobody say. You are too blessed to be stressed. Oh, you are future. And we're here to encourage you. Because I know what it's like to be young. I have nobody to talk to. You're the one that God going to bless. I hear the Lord say, every enemy who came against you, that God going to raise you above everyone who puts you down. God, That's why God had me here. Because he knew you were, hallelujah. He knew that you needed a word of encouragement. Because our young men and our young people don't get encouragement. Sometimes we got enemies in our own family who don't always understand. Sometimes our fathers are not there. But God told me to tell you, I will never leave y'all. Hallelujah. I'll never forsake y'all. He said, I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. That's what we're talking about, brothers. We love you, man. And we love you too. Come on, tell someone you too, man. About the Lord, how God been good to y'all. Tell someone, you are too blessed? To be stressed. And the year 2024, God gonna bless y'all with more, and God shall restore, and y'all gonna soar. Woo! Give me a high five. We love you, brothers. Well, I thank the Lord for my brothers who stopped by here today. We had church here in the street. We had church here in the hood. Don't gotta go to church to have church when God is in your heart. You the church. I thank God for my brother. What's your name again, my brother? What's your name again, my brother? Oh, like in the Bible. And what's your name? Please to meet you. My name is Preacher Warren, but you can call me Brother Warren. I thank God for my brothers, Lord. Y'all going to be leaders. Y'all going to change the world. And one day God going to have you change Hollywood and the Hollywood. I see music here somewhere. Do somebody do music? Is it rap? Uh, write songs? I see songwriting in here. But I see music ability in y'all. Uh, music ability and anybody. Yeah, but I see sports athletics in you but i see music in y'all god gonna use some of y'all to write songs and y'all gonna change the world for jesus christ no wonder god had me here usually i'm preaching over there and the lord said come here because you knew y'all was coming here today to give you a word of encouragement thank god for my brothers and fill them with the power of the holy ghost don't let nobody stress you out you are too blessed to be stressed not even a woman i don't care how pretty she is the devil come pretty the devil come handsome but when God give you a wife, God going to bless y'all with a good wife and not a knife. <laughs> God bless you, my brother. Thank you for having church with your brother today. I'm always here every week. I came from Harlem 
up in the Bronx in the hood, here in New Jersey, and now I be having church up in the hood. And this preacher, you don't gotta hate, I ain't got no collection place. <laughs> the love that God wanna give to you is for free. Woo! Let's do a dunking contest on the devil. Ain't that right? Have a good day. Love y'all brothers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord to my brothers. Hallelujah. Thank God for these brothers. I'm good to see young men praising God. You got to encourage the young men and the young women. I ain't no playboy. We got to encourage each other. Hallelujah. Iron sharp and Zion. They heard the word of God being preached up in the car. I didn't know it was going to happen like this, but God knew. Hallelujah. God knew. It's going to see young people come to Jesus. Bless them, Lord. Save them, God. Bless the young people. Bless them, God. Somebody got molested. Somebody been raped. Somebody been sexually abused. But you're the one that God is going to use. So you can make heaven your home. Young man started crying up in the car. I saw tears coming through his eyes. No wonder God sent me here. Oh, my higher Mosata. God didn't save them right in the van, right in the car. Out of my higher Mosata. Out of my higher Mosi. See, God knows what's going on in the world. Those who lost your loved ones, we're praying for you. If they died in Jesus, you will be with them again. We all will be together in glory together when we all see Jesus. What a day of rejoicing that will be. Not only see Jesus, but be with Jesus. Oh, oh Lord, eh? hallelujah. They're not aware of what's going on because they're in paradise. They're only aware of what's going on in paradise where angels are there. God's angels are there. God bless you, young man. Happy New Year. And 2024, God going to bless you with more. Ha ha, hallelujah. God bless his family. God bless his whole life and save him. And for them with the power of the Holy Ghost, God is raising up young men to change the world. You don't got to be educated to change the world. Just say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, I give myself to you. God is saving women. God is saving men. God is saving children because he loves you. He loves you. Hallelujah. Now we can love each other. Now we can pray for each other. Woo! Just repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach, ha, for the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the, ah, the Holy Ghost. So your loved ones who've been deceased, their body only deceased. But they're not deceased. They're in heaven. Hallelujah. Having a Holy Ghost party. They're in paradise. Praise God. They're not aware of what's going on on earth. You understand. But they are aware of what's going on where they are at. They're in paradise. They see the angels. They are with Jesus. They're worshiping the Lord. They're having a Holy Ghost party. They're worshiping him with the seraphims. And the angels are waiting for that great day. The rapture. Now those who went to hell are sad. They are in hell, which is a different place than the lake of fire. The lake of fire is not the same as hell. They both horrible places. The lake of fire is spoken about in the book of Revelations, chapter 20, verse 14. And John said, and I saw death and hell, see, cast in the lake of fire. Both was cast in. That means hell and the lake of fire is separate. So death and hell will be cast in the lake of fire. So those who went to hell are waiting. They're going to be awaiting for judgment. When we all stand before the white throne of judgment, the goats will be on the left and the sheep on the right. I want to be a sheep and not a goat. I don't want nobody to call me no goats. Come on. I know when they say who's the greatest in sports, they call the goat. No, I want to be called the sheep, not the goat. When you're saved, you are a sheep, not a goat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel God in the place. You are a sheep. You are a lamb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The more sheep. Hallelujah. We all gonna stand before the white throne of judgment. Whoever name is not found or written, and about higher most satire. All of my higher mosi and the last book of life shall be cast in the lake of fire. But if your name is in the book, you have a new name. Hallelujah. Written down in glory. Oh yes, it's yours. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This body will be changed from mortal and human immortality. We shall be changed. Whoa, 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 whoa. We shall be changed. We'll be like the angels in heaven. Hallelujah. We'll be immortal. It'll be a new heaven and a new earth. Thank you, Jesus. So for those who's consulting mediums and psychics and the crystal balls, numerosity, all that is talked about in the Bible, divinations, is all witchcraft. It's all demonic. And they're going like this. And they're acting like that the dead people are speaking through them. Now you wonder why you got ghosts in your house. Things moving around in your house because you're going to sorcerers and mediums. God said, don't consult those people. If your loved one died in Jesus, the body died, but they never died. They are with the Lord in paradise. A special place until they will be changed. Arose from the, God will raise it from the dead. In the rapture, the dead in Christ shall rise, and we who are alive, who I remain, shall be caught up to meet him in the air. Thank you, Jesus. Then we all will be together in glory. That's what it means. While we under the sun, that means while we on earth, while we alive, we are aware of what's going on. But those who decease, the body decease, if they're in heaven, I hell, they don't know what's going on in the world. They're not aware of what's going on. They're only aware of what's going on in the place where they're at. You understand? So a medium doesn't have the power to contact your deceased loved one. I know it hurts. I know you, I know you miss your loved ones. Now God may show you a dream about your loved ones, that they're okay if they were Jesus. But a medium doesn't have the power to do that. They are possessed with the demons of divination. They may have been deceived. So we got to pray for them too. They may have a gift, but that spirit took over the gift, which is divination, which is the opposite of the gift of prophecy. Prophecy is when you foretell, okay? The gift of prophecy is spoken about in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number 12. That is not psychic. That is not divination. It's a gift from God. It's not witchcraft. But psychic is a counterfeit of the word of knowledge and the gift of discernment. You understand? Fortune telling is a counterfeit of the gift of prophecy. Magic, which is of the devil, is a counterfeit of the anointing. The anointing is greater than magic. It's not by might. It's not by power. Hallelujah. But it's by my spirit. Praise the Lord, my brother. God bless you. Hallelujah. Saves the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing is greater than magic. Magic creates yokes, but it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Consult Jesus. Hallelujah. So be careful. When you watch that program, Raising the Dead. Uh, no, not Raising the Dead. It's called Raising Spirits. When they got that woman going through the cemetery where the tombstones are at and the families are there. God bless you, man of God. I'm happy to see you. Happy New Year. Holy Ghost New Year. So happy to see that young man. Hallelujah. You're too blessed to be stressed. Woo! God bless that young man. Happy to see him today. Thank you, Jesus. Shh. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to his holy name. Glory be to his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. They praising God in the car. Ha! They was beeping the horns in the car. They forgot about the green light and was hearing God's word being preached, filling the Holy Ghost in the cars. Folk getting saved in the cars, y'all. So be careful with that program, y'all. You got a lot of demonic stuff coming on TV. That's satanic. But we're in this world, but not of the world. So God bless you. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this word. I gave us some information. Take it on. So don't consult the divinations, our mediums, our psychics. A lot of them don't even realize that they being deceived. They may mean well, but they're being deceived by the devil. Those demons are coming in the form 
of your deceased loved one that is not your loved one. My father who I saw, that was not my real father. That was a demonic spirit that came in the form of my father. So my stepfather, I know he's in glory. He's not aware of what I'm doing right now. Why? He's in paradise, like your loved ones. So don't worry. When you have Jesus in your life, we are all going to be together. There's those who had testimonies where they, where they died and went to heaven and they saw their families, they saw the angels, and most of all, they saw Jesus. They're having it better than we are. They ain't got to pay no rent. <laughs> Our bills, they already got it made. Don't you want to get there in heaven in paradise to be with Jesus? You can receive Jesus right now and say, Lord, come into my heart and save me. Fill me with the power of your Holy Spirit. Forgive me for my sins, Lord, and wash my sins away. Whoa! Oh, Lord! Come into my heart and save me. Fill me with the Holy Ghost like the two young men just received Jesus in the car. Yeah, Lord! Hallelujah! I want to be in paradise. I want to consult Jesus, not the psychic, not the divination. I want to consult J E S U S. Yeshua, Hamashiach, I am a believer. How about you? Jesus Christ. Just repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this is the promise that God has for you and your children. God bless you. I insist that them young people was getting ready to do something wrong. When they heard the gospel, they felt the power of God in the car. Jesus is real. I like that. Go ahead, brother. I like that. I like, look at them stunts. He do it. That's a gift from God. Continue, Lord, to bless him and save him. And fill him with the power of the Holy Ghost if he wants to be saved. This is for the generation that God is raising up today. Hallelujah. God is saving young people. God is saving women and men. Y'all special. Y'all royal. So thanks for all those who sent to my cash app. Me and Lady Priscilla is praying for you. Thanks for praying for us. We love you and God loves you more. And let's love each other. Let's pray for each other. Let's not be competitive. Let's not be jealous of one another. The devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. He don't care what color you are. All he wants is your soul. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life. Hallelujah. And that you might have it more abundantly. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah! When the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go flying in, how about you? Hallelujah! Repent and be baptized, every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! For the remissions of sins, and he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But this is the promise that God has for you and your children. Confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. I believe in your heart that he was crucified. And God has raised him ah, from the dead. And thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, the man, praise God. For the heart, believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. The whosoever, O Lord, shall call on the name of the Lord. Shall la, 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 shall be saved. I feel like preaching, y'all. God bless you. God bless you to all of you. My cash app is Flame of Fire 8. Pastor Warren Adams. Go from me is holy and heavenly. Flame of Fire, Miracle Church Ministry. Street Pastor Preacher Warren. God bless you. A missionary. Lady Priscilla Adams. It's all about souls. We all try to make it to heaven. We're not perfect, but we're striving to be like Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're striving to be like Jesus. To be like Jesus. To be like him. I want to be like Jesus. To be like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.